Hey everyone, today I'm going to share with you guys the recipe that I use for vegan gummy bears or any gummy lollies I guess. These are great because they are really simple to make and they avoid gelatin which is obviously ground up animal hooves. They avoid artificial colourings which are in quite high quantities in a lot of lollies and they avoid excessive sugars and preservatives as well. So they're a really awesome thing to be able to do and you can personalise them. I would recommend having a mould that has more than one, <laughs> more than one slot. I only had an individual gummy bear mould which was quite tedious. Uh, but you can also just pull the mixture into a tray and allow it to set and then chop them up into little kind of cube lollies as well. So I'm using a few different flavourings here which I'll show you guys. The basic principle that I'm using is one cup of liquid to four tablespoons of agar agar powder. So firstly I'm making a vanilla almond milk flavour and for that I'm using half a cup of almond milk, two tablespoons of agar agar powder, one inch of vanilla pods beans and one to two tablespoons of maple syrup or a few drops of stevia to sweeten. And I'm just putting into a pot my half a cup of almond milk and then I'm adding into that my two tablespoons of agar agar and just mixing it through thoroughly. And I'm squeezing out my inch of vanilla pods beans and putting them in there. I'm adding in two tablespoons of maple syrup to sweeten. Then I'm mixing that up and putting it over low heat and allowing it to come to a simmer. It will simmer for a couple of minutes and then it will start to thicken up nicely. So once it's thickened up, I'm taking my mould and I'm pouring a small amount in there. And then you can just put it in the freezer for 30 seconds or less and it will set really quickly. And then you can pop out your first gummy bear or first tray of gummy bears hopefully and then you can store them in the fridge. Next I'm going on to make the strawberry flavour. For that I'm using a quarter of a cup of strawberries, a quarter of a cup of water, two tablespoons of agar agar and one to two tablespoons of maple syrup or a few drops of stevia like before. So it's the same process, I'm mashing up the berries with the water uh, and you can strain them through some cloth and I'm just using a cheese cloth or a nut milk cloth to strain the berries through and then I'm adding my two tablespoons of agar agar powder and mixing them through and adding a small amount of maple syrup or a few drops of stevia to sweeten it and then I'm putting it onto low heat allowing it to bubble to thicken and pouring it into my mould setting it and popping them out So the next one that I'm doing for this is blueberries and I'm just using a quarter of a cup of blueberries and a quarter of a cup of water, two tablespoons of agar agar powder and some maple syrup or stevia again and it's just the same process, you could strain the berries or just puree them. I'm actually leaving some of the pulp in this time, it's quite nice like that and then pouring them into my moulds once they've simmered with the agar agar powder in there uh, and allowing them to set. So then I'm making a pineapple flavoured one and this is using pineapple juice and this is quite an easy thing to do, you could use it with any flavoured juice and I'm also making some orange juice flavoured ones as well. I'm using half a cup of pineapple juice and two tablespoons of agar agar and you can also sweeten it a little bit further as well with some stevia if you wanted to and so I'm just mixing that together and then I am simmering it and pouring it into my moulds and once I pop them out I have my little pineapple gummy bears and I also have these orange ones. So then you've got some finished gummy bears, those are flavours that I really like and they're so simple to do and you can continue playing around with all sorts of different flavours. I haven't tried it yet but I'm thinking about doing you know, like a coffee and almond milk one or soy milk uh, and also trying different teas as well. I thought my golden mango green tea would be really nice with the stevia in it and it would be really healthy as well. So various things like that uh, but just basically store them in an airtight container in the fridge for about a week. They do sit perfectly fine at room temperature consistency wise but you know they don't have preservatives so you want to make sure that they're fine. If you guys do try this out I would love to hear how it goes for you especially if you come up with some awesome combinations and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day guys.